When it comes to setting up your own training program, one of the most important concepts to understand is that of trade-offs. And failing to do so can lead to a lot of confusion about how to go about achieving your fitness goals. And it can even lead you to become dogmatic and dismissive of training methods that might actually be effective for you depending on your goals. Now, fundamentally, every choice we make comes with some sort of trade-off, whether it's using high reps or low reps, short rests or long rests, whether we choose to lift weights or train calisthenics, whether we train with paused repetitions or constant tension, all of these choices represent tools that we can use to drive the adaptations we're trying to develop. And it's important to note that no tool is inherently better than another, but there are some tools that are certainly better than others in some contexts. And this is the lens through which we need to view our approach to training. So let me give you an example. If you wanted to maximize leg strength and get them as strong as possible, high rep body weight squats are just not the tool to use. You're going to be way better off with heavy barbell squats and deadlifts. But that doesn't mean body weight squats are a bad exercise. And if you were to make that claim, it's like judging a screwdriver based on its ability to hammer a nail. It just completely misses the point. And you see this a lot with the just squat heavy mentality where the answer to every fitness goal for every person in every context is to do some heavy five by five back squats. Essentially use a hammer for every job. Now, if you want to build some solid cardio, some outstanding lower body conditioning and fatigue resistance, and do so with an unmatched level of convenience paired with an exceptionally low injury risk, then all of a sudden working on cranking out a bunch of body weight squats becomes a really good option. So it's the context that determines the usefulness of a tool. So when you're designing your own training program, you need to identify the attributes you want to develop and then pick the tools that if mastered will require and display those qualities. If you do that in conjunction with considering your own injury risk, equipment availability, personal preferences regarding enjoyment, and then layer all of that on top of some good programming, well, now you've just made a program that's likely to deliver some excellent gains and help you achieve your fitness goals. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.